Financially, the dollar is being devalued even faster than we could have hoped. Politically, the public has lost total confidence in any form of government. As you know, we ourselves do not need to hold any visible office of leadership. As a matter of fact, it's better that we do not. If we control the finances, news media, food, transportation, energy, we control everything. It is important that you, as world leaders, keep our program before your countrymen. With our World Bank and computer program operational, we now have the capacity to control the financial affairs of every human being on Earth by giving each person his own computer number. Any time his number is used, we would know his financial situation at once. He could not buy or sell anything without his computer number. It will simplify their lifestyles tremendously. The end result will be a one-world monetary and government system that we alone will control. By using this laser imprinter, we can painlessly and permanently affix the person's number to the back of his hand or his forehead if he so desires. The numbers would be easily read by this new ultraviolet scanning equipment. For the purposes of demonstration, I've had such a number imprinted on myself. Once this number is imprinted, it cannot be lost nor can it be changed. Now, are there any questions? What about the individuals who refuse to have this number implantation? We expect some minor resistance, especially from highly motivated religious groups. But eventually, hunger will cause even the most zealous to conform to our program. If we continue on our present course, it is my opinion that we could present the devil himself as a world leader, and the people would accept him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably one of the most important videos I'll be uploading, and unfortunately, I will not be able to repeat this message again after new policies by the Biden administration that restrict me from speaking the truth. I received a few emails in the last few days saying that I'm talking about sensitive content when all I've been trying to do is present the truth and the facts. In my opinion, the World Economic Forum in Davos has morphed from peace and prosperity into a sinister anti-democratic enterprise designed to destroy your job, steal your prosperity, and rob your children of a future. There are many experts out there and well-known political figures that are going so far to suggest that all the measures applied to the coronavirus, the lockdowns, the destruction of small businesses, curfews, and strong-arm police tactics are the new way of dealing with climate change. And the financial system, which we love to talk about, is just a scratch on the surface compared to the grand scheme of things that are playing out in the world. We're in a currency global free fall as central banks continue to destroy their currency. They're in a race to the bottom and they're not going to stop. They got the world by the throat, Gerald. You know that they got us by the throat and they're not going to stop. They're determined, in my view, to bring us back into a feudal system here, wipe out an entire class of people and create as much pandemonium as they possibly can. A meltdown in the, the global debt market would give them every excuse to issue in a new financial system. The current system is dying and we can see that, how it's being reflected here. I call it the moment of maximum saturation where glo global debt starts to surge out of control, which we're seeing right now. Bond yields starting to spike, which we're seeing right now. And this is still controlled. An uncontrolled sell-off in, in the debt market is easy, to, is easy to follow. You watch the 10-year yield, which is the benchmark. And I'm talking about 20, 30, 40 basis point jumps in a day in a succession. If we see that, we know this whole thing is literally about to come down. I don't like the point of, that you no one can pinpoint when this is gonna happen. We have clues. I personally believe people know too little about the Great Reset. It's a program designed to strip us of all our fundamental democratic rights in favor of a new form of society dictated by the elites. Starting, of course, with the financial system. The World Economic Forum and the Great Reset will destroy our money and investments that are connected to the fiat banking system and rigged financial markets. Our money and financial system as we know it will look totally different. From what I've learned and what I've been told is that the central banks or the treasury will be the ones to control our personal accounts. And it's simple. When I connect the dots, I can easily see that they are trying to crash our current economic system so that the new system goes into effect and provides tracking on everything you do every place you go. Sounds like the perfect setup for them and obviously an awful situation for us, monetarily speaking, of course. I think the best we can express is probably a depression. We're already going into it. As I said last night, you know, what we do, we, we print money to solve our problems. And all that does is increase debt and creates more freeloaders, social welfare. 
I'm not against social welfare, but don't print money to pay for them. At the same time, our debt escalates. Our debt to GDP right now is 120%. At 90% debt to GDP, we're bankrupt. That means for every dollar we spend, we go deeper in debt right now. So our debt is now in the trillions. I don't know how many trillions it really is. I've heard it's 260 trillion. I don't know how they measure it anymore. At the same time, they raise interest rates into a recession. This has never been done before. So that's why I'm saying that somebody intentionally doing something to bring America down and the world down. It would be a great idea to get some of your money out of the system while you still can and keep trying to preserve your wealth through the ownership of precious metals like gold, silver, and platinum. I keep telling people do this while you still can because the idea of a one world government and a one world currency is not that far away. And having studied the financial system and economics for the last four years, it seems to me that XRP will be the one to usher in the financial reset. In other words, mass adoption of XRP has already occurred. In 2008 recession, most people don't know this, was due to a liquidity crisis and XRP offers the ODL. Ripple took an approach of let's work with the government, let's work with banks, financial, regulated financial institutions. And look, to some degree, in the earliest days, that's one of the reasons why Ripple was controversial is because it was taking a bit of a you know uh, controversial approach to crypto if, if crypto wanted down with banks and down with government that's who with whom we are working that created controversy but look today I, I believe that ripple the company so we, we are effectively building enterprise blockchain based solutions we started with cross-border payments we sell to banks we sell to financial institutions we have billions of dollars of transactions going through RippleNet, through xrp we, the product we call on-demand liquidity I, I think ripple is one of the few truly scaled crypto use cases that actually is solving a problem it's not a science experiment it's not in a testing phase uh, you know, again, we're, we're, if anything, we're trying to throttle growth right now. We're, the, the demand is outstripping really our ability to serve that demand right now. The elites, I don't think, are poised to make the same mistake while the U.S. economy might face the greatest depression of all time. Because the non-adoption of XRP will cost them trillions upon trillions of dollars and set them far behind other countries in terms of CBDC adoption. They cannot afford another economic fallout because in the grand scheme of things the use case of xrp saves them money and time and it's all about money they don't really care about us they're just trying to stop the inevitable wealth transfer of xrp by wailing off the xrp and ripple with fear and uncertainty and the sec lawsuit